Hello guys, this is Alex Chu and you're watching In Moves Kate's channel. And in this video we will see the classic song trick which is 8 and back 8. Uh, this trick I found on VSSA website in Trick Classificator. Uh, and it has the E category, so that means that this trick uh, also will be counted in tricks when you do slalom on competitions. So let's slalom, guys! Let's start from the trick 8. So let's go to the count and I will show you two moves uh, which includes in this trick. Uh, so the first move is the forward crossed pivot on toe, this one. And the second one is forward open pivot on toe, this one. Okay. Uh, so, for the first, we need to learn how to do the pivots on five wheels. Uh, so, let's go to the lesson eight, where Sonic uh, showed us different pivots. Uh, so, the first one is the pivot uh, forward crossed uh, pivot on toe. So, let's just do a lot of circles before we'll be confident in this move. So this one. Our knees are connected here, so it will be easier. Uh, the back foot on toe, and we do the circle. Uh, and the second one, which is easier, uh, will be the open pivot on toe, also forward. So here's how it looks like. So in this position, as you see, our uh, legs not crossed, so that's why it's open. Uh, so you can touch or not to touch here the knees, and we do the circles. So we'll do a lot of circles before we we'll be confident in this move, and then let's go to the counts. Okay, let's go to the counts and do the eight and counts. So we start from the forward open cross toe pivots. Uh, then we do the same uh, but forward open uh, pivot on toe, crossed one, open, crossed, open. So we connect it in the infinity. So why this trick calls us eight? Because we do the infinity like eight and counts. Let's do it slowly. So. Okay, the next thing to do will be, uh, as I saw the official trick, as we have this like classic tricks. Uh, so the officially, uh, usually when we do the open, uh, we do uh, the position, uh, the heel pivot. So how it looks like. So when we do the forward open pivots, it's on heel, and then the crossed one on toe. So on heel on toe, heel on toe. So shoulders are parallel to the cones, uh, but sometimes when I need you know, to turn and to reach the cone, I need to turn a little my shoulders, but not 90 degrees. So you can turn it like this, it's okay. Uh, the next thing is about the knees. Um, as you see, when I uh, do the crossed pivot, I bend my knees a lot, uh, and when I do the open pivot, I can unbend it. So, bend, unbend. About the position. So, as you see, my left leg, uh, which is in one wheel, is always in the center uh, from here to here. But always, like, I'm trying to keep it in the center. And in this case, uh, I need to reach with my right leg this cone and because of that I need to bend my knees and to reach this cone, here I can unbend it, okay. 
So closed pivots, open pivots. Uh, about the uh, place of the one out of the left leg. Uh, so sometimes, so when I do it on toe, it's on this side. When I do it on heel, it can be in the center between cones or even a little on this side. So how it looks like, I mean, on this side or somewhere here. Cross pivot on this side and on this side. So open pivots on this side, crossed on this, open on this, crossed on this. Okay, so we are done with the eight forward and now let's go to the back eight. So the back eight, it's almost the same as forward one. Uh, so we need to learn the pivots without cones. Let's look on my legs. So we need to learn the pivots on this position. Uh, it will be crossed one. So it's backward crossed pivot on toe. Let's do a lot of circles. Our knees are connected in this position. So once you're confident, it's okay. Uh, and you need to learn the second pivot. It will be backward open pivot on toe. Okay, you're confident with this as well, and you can go on cones. Okay, let's do our moves on cones. Uh, so the first one is the backwards crossed pivot. How it looks like. And the second one is open, so it's backward open pivot on toe. So crossed, open, crossed, open, crossed, open. Okay, and the same as uh, we are, we're done with forward one, uh, we can do the backwards crossed on toe and the open one on heel. So on toe, on heel, toe, heel so heel so let's say it's like official uh, backward eight as i saw on the ssa website uh, and let's go to the next here are the bonus uh, if you had problems with doing the pivots on five wheels so here's how you can do the forward uh, eight uh, on eight wheels so we can do the crisscross then the left leg waiting uh, between cones and we do uh, some kind of pivot but on eight wheels so crossed one and open cross and open cross and open and in this situation the left leg well as well as the right one should be uh, with rockered wheels or frames so it will be easier to turn left and right so this one is like not the official of course uh, it's just the simple way how you can uh, start doing some kind of eight and once you'll be confident with the five wheels pivots uh, you can do it on five wheels or for example you learned how to do the pivot uh, the open pivot so you can do the open pivot as you should and the crossed one you can do on eight wheels if you are not confident right now so it looks, looks like here like this one uh, or opposite so you can do the crossed one on five wheels and the open on eight cross on five open on eight so it's not the trick itself, uh, but you can start from this if it was hard to do the uh, classic one. And the last bonus for today, it will be some kind of snake eight. So it's not the official trick, uh, it's easy to learn and it looks great. Uh, so here's how it looks like. Uh, we always do the snakes and we create some kind of eight. So the infinity. Our body moves with the skates. So 
so we roll from one count to the other one. So let's do the eight snake slowly. We do on the left cone uh, the skate which is uh, outside skate uh, from the cone. So the left one will be the leading. So we do the snake with the left skate. Then we change the leading leg uh, between cones. So it will be right one, which is uh, the outside to the right cone. Then we change again change again okay and we help to gain speed uh, with the bending knees uh, when we are out from of, of the cone so we bend the this so the right leg in this position and by doing this uh, push from here we gain speed a little and then we do the snake. Okay, great. Just after you content with it, uh, you can do less pushes so you don't need to bend your knees a lot. But anyway, I push a little myself each time. So because of that, I can do the infinity. <laughs> uh, and the same with the back eight. So everything the same. So the skate, which is far from the cone, will be the leading one. The leading leg. Leading. Leading. And everything the same. Okay, great. I hope you mastered some tricks from this lesson. Um, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed. Press like, subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below this video. And see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.